congratulations, mate. You've uh, you've landed at Melbourne. What's it been like for you the last uh, few weeks? Um, pretty nerve wracking. Didn't know where I'd end up um, or what I'd be doing next year, and I've just moved into a place, so a nice income would be good. Um, but yeah, when I found out the news, it was yeah, I was over the moon. Pretty excited. Tough first year injuring your wrist, and you played four games this year, and then actually came back home. A little, little bit about your footy journey. Yeah, so there's a bit going on. I missed the first year with my scaphoid. I had my third operation on it, um, so I was just running laps for the whole first year, and sort of found it hard to mingle with everyone, being in rehab and, and whatever. And then um, started getting really homesick and started going through some personal stuff, which was really hard to deal with away from home. Um, there was a little bit of support, but no one, no like immediate family or anything, obviously. So then I played a couple of games, which I was happy with, and then sort of just got a bit much in terms of how I was feeling, um, and thought I'd come back and try and regather myself and hopefully get another contract here, sort of where I know I'd thrive and really enjoy my footy. So your first year, you missed pretty much the whole year with a wrist injury, and then played waffle finals and really impressed then, and then managed to play early in the season. I mean. Pretty good effort given you missed pretty much that first year. I mean, it, it sort of shows, I guess, your talent being able to shine through in that in that area. Do you, you obviously have a fair bit of belief. Yeah, I guess so. Um, yes, I sort of lost a little bit when I was injured and then when I came back, I really just wanted to give it a go. I almost felt like I had ground to make up. So I sort of, yeah, I went really hard for a while and got the rewards, which was really good and enjoyed and loved playing. But yeah, as I said, just the homesickness and being away sort of interrupted that. But yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that feeling back again, being over here. Great to be back in Melbourne for yourself. Uh, I guess it makes a massive difference. I mean, can you, having been back already for a little bit, um, talk about that and just how much it's improved and helped you? Yeah, well, I've got my girlfriend over here, um, Ebs, and then I've got my mum and dad, and I've got two brothers who I'm pretty close with. Um, and where I live, all my mates are within a couple of streets or a suburb or two away. So I guess whenever you go through downs or ups, you've got people to share them with which is something I couldn't do over there. Like after playing games or whatever, didn't really have anyone to sort of share those moments with. And then when things went wrong, I didn't have anyone. So it's just good to lean on people, I guess. And um, yeah, overall, I just feel a lot better being here, more comfortable. And being a Sandy boy, you, you've got a bit of a connection with, I guess, uh, Angus Brayshaw and come through the academy and played uh, in the championships a few years ago. Um, um, I guess talk about some of your connections at the club. Yeah, so me and Gus got along pretty well in under 18s. Um, so I was about to imagine he was top age and I learned a lot from him and I knew he was obviously done and then took a lot from him. Um, so yeah, we we're pretty close at Sandy and then yeah, it'd be good to re catch up with him. I haven't seen him in a while. And we sort of got the same friendship circles, I guess, through a couple of people um, down where we live, um, Bayside. So yeah, that's going to be really handy, I think. And yourself as a footballer, how do you sort of describe yourself, I guess, for the Melbourne Fiends? Yeah, so probably a high half forward sort of lead up marking sort of player, but um, especially um, over West, I like pushing into the midfield and sort of getting a bit of the ball and um, hit, hitting in and stuff. But yeah, I think probably play both ends, which is good, which could come in handy, yeah. And next year, I mean, now that you're sort of settled back in Melbourne, you know your future's at Melbourne, of course. Uh, how are you feeling about 2018? Yeah, I'm stoked. To be honest, I just want to get started because I've sort of had a lot of time off. A um, couple of months off this year. I'm, I'm ready to get into pre-season, sort of start training and yeah, play again. But yeah, I'm excited.